one of the songs we love to sing this time of year as we reflect on being in the cemetery, being at that tomb is that great uh, spiritual, were you there? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Of course, we know it goes on. It causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Uh, we sing that almost every year at this time. Uh, but oftentimes we don't sing verse 4. Have you ever sung verse 4? We don't sing it because we usually sing the words, Were you there on Monday, Thursday, or Good Friday? The words of verse 4 are meant to, to come alive on, on, on Easter morning. Were you there when he rose up from the tomb? When he rose up from the grave, were you there? Now there's only one person who can say, say I was there. Uh, there were a number of people that came to the tomb that morning. Uh, there were uh, the, the women that came in first. Uh, they saw the tomb. They met some angels. Uh, there was also Peter and John who we know came to the tomb. They went in, saw the empty tomb, saw the, the grave closed there. But only one can say, I met Jesus at that tomb. That person was Mary Magdalene. Only she can say, I was there when he rose up from the tomb. Now she wasn't there that, that first thing when he burst forth, but she met him later that day, right outside the tomb, right outside that, that tomb that caused death and despair. She was there to see him rise again. And the question is, how can she give us hope? How can she give us hope as we walk through this, this near this cave of isolation, this cave of, of COVID, this COVID cave of isolation, death, and fear? What do we learn from Mary who saw Jesus right outside that tomb who can say, I was there? Well, we don't know much about Mary Magdalene, but here's what we do know. We know from Luke 8 that she had seven demons previously in her, and obviously she was healed by Jesus, and she lived eternally grateful for Jesus. We know that she was there at the cross. We know that she saw where he was buried, that she knew where the cave was. And we know that she was there that first thing in the morning. But we also know that she was the first person to see the resurrected Jesus. Can you imagine that? that the first person to see the resurrected Jesus was Mary Magdalene. And we read about what this interchange that she has in, in John 20, 11 through 18, where it says, But Mary, this is Mary Magdalene, stood outside weeping near the tomb. And as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, They've taken away my Lord, and I do not, not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Now, supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where have you laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. And she turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not cling to me, for I, am, I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I've seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. So what is it that we can learn from Mary from this story that can give us hope? Because as we draw closer to the, to the tomb and have that, that Jesus rose up from the tomb, we have hope. Well, here's the hope that we find in this story from Mary. One is, is that God knows our name. That Jesus knows our name. He's, when he says her name, Mary, she immediately recognizes who he is. And God knows your name. He doesn't speak to you as woman or, or, or man or boy or girl. He gives you, he says to you your name. He knows you that way. You see, God loves you. And when he speaks our name, we immediately become in tune to who he is. You see, he wants us to know him. 
He wants to that we would not only hear his voice, but that we would see him for who he is. And she immediately cries out Rabboni, which means my teacher. And he knows you by name as well. What a gift. Not only does he know you by name, but what we learn from Mary is that because of his death, and his resurrection. His God is our God, and his Father is our Father. He says in verse 17, where he says, do not cling to me, because she's hugging him. She's embracing him. She's so excited to see him. It says, do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. What hope is there? Man, the hope that God's, that Jesus' Father is now our Father. That Jesus God is now our God because of his work on that death and on the cross. Because of his work rising up from the grave that we can say he's my God. He's my Father because of the work of Jesus. And finally, the other hope we have is the hope of all hopes. It's the obvious one in the text, right? He rose from that grave. He burst forth from that tomb. He, he leaped out of that tomb, if you will, and said, nothing can stop me. And so Jesus gives us the hope because he has risen from the grave. He's conquered sin. He's conquered death. And we will be with him forever and ever. You know, when I hear all that, it reminds me of that end to that, to that song, Were You There? Because in that fourth verse, when, he, when we ask the question, Were you there? When he rose up from the tomb. We no longer sing, it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. No, we say with Mary, it, causes, it makes me want to shout. It causes me to shout glory, glory, glory. And she did that as she went in verse 18 where it says, Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I've seen the Lord. Now you've seen the Lord and you know him by name. And, and his father is your father. His God is your God. And so the question for you, what are you going to do with the hope that's within you? Are you going to shout it out and cry glory, 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 and tell others like Mary that you've seen the Lord. Because those who've met the Lord are called to give the hope that's within them. To say, I've, I've seen him, I wasn't there, but he said, shared my name, he knows me by name, and he wants to know your name as well. So go and spread that hope, that Easter hope, that Jesus has risen from the grave, and cry out, shout out, glory, glory, glory. Hi there, this is Pastor Todd from First Church. Thank you so much for taking the time to, uh, to tune in and to listen to one of our reflections. We're so thankful to be able to share this journey of faith with you. Uh, please know that we are, are praying for you in this time of uncertainty and challenge. And, and please uh, spend more time with us. Uh, we've been putting together some, some great videos that we hope will encourage you and, uh, and give you some spiritual sustenance in this time to continue to trust in Jesus and to walk with him. So please take a moment to, to browse through our YouTube channel and, and check out some more of our videos and click on some of the links below to our website to see uh, what's happening in our midst. We'd love to have you be a part of the journey with us. Take care and God bless you.